Alright guys, what's up? Uh, today I get a request. So I've been working on trying to um, create the Matrix Eater and sometimes uh, live streaming on Twitch the uh, videos of me trying to code, which has been pretty fun. Uh, but today we're going to take a moment out. We got a message from Stefan.k. He says, I don't really know if it's possible. But he's going to give it a shot. He's going to ask me. Uh, he has this model that uses the animation set from Proudmore. And uh, let me make sure this music's not too loud. Uh, the model has a mace and a shield weapons, and what he wants to achieve is the attack animation from the Proudmoor, but, but the shield from the Footman. Uh, that's sort of an interesting thing. In theory, this should be doable with the old Matrix Seeder code. So I was trying it with the experimental new version, and I ran into some bugs. So I actually attempted to record this video once already. Didn't work, so we're going to try it again. Um, because the previous video, basically I corrupted the model due to bugs in the software. So. I fixed that, that's gone, and now I think we should be able to maybe do it, so let's give it a shot. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to open up a footman, and there's something really important we want to talk about with the footman here, right? Um, in general, we've got our models, and they're looking pretty good. We have, you know, we have like a stand animation, uh, it's very clearly problem more animations on this guy, it's very clearly working how we would expect. Um, but in the footman, you will note that the shield is in his right hand, and on this problem more animation guy, the shield is on his left hand. That is an interesting issue for us. So what we want to do is we want to go to the footman and we want to flip that. We want to put the shield in the other hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to toggle on the nodes and we're going to do tools mirror X. Now we flip the nodes, you look back at the footman and he's got his shield in his other hand. This is going to be really useful for us. Um, but it's important to know that that doesn't change the names. So as we do our import function on this um, like, the footman's gonna look correct, it's gonna look how we want him to look, right? Um, but he's not gonna have his, uh, correct names. So now, right hand will refer to the left, because everything's flipped. So let's go back to our, uh, result target model guy, the guy we want to work on here, and let's do an import from the workspace, so from, uh, that footman that we're working on here. And this is going to bring us up with the dialogue. This hasn't really changed in the new version of Matrix Seeder, which is why I figured it's fun and fine to use this newer version. Uh, but in general, we should be able to import all and time scale all, which is just find the, you know, it's like an animation transfer. It'll link up the animations in terms of their time slots in the two different models. And that's where the time slots were corrupted in my previous attempt to record this video. So we're going to see how it goes this time. Um, but basically, we don't want any of these bones except arm... Now, this is where it's interesting. When you think about the old footman, how he used to be, he used to have his shield in his right hand. He's a left-handed guy, which is a little odd. So now that's flipped, so right hand on the footman is going to be the left hand on our source model. Uh, so we're going to have arm one and arm two. And you'll note that there's no... There, there's something called hand right on the footman, but the thing called hand right is actually his left hand. Uh, you can tell by the order here, and I've also sat and looked at it in the past. A uh, little image here, as you can see, shows us that the yellow dot is on his now right, previously left hand, and we want the now left, previously right, with the yellow dots on the left up here. So we're going to take those two, and we're going to uh, import motion onto the pre-existing. And this is where our Proudmore guy is a little bit more complicated than the footman. I was looking at this when I was trying to make that other video, uh, and he's got, he's got shoulder left, and then he's got up arm and low arm and hand. But the footman just has these two. He's just got up arm and low arm. So Definitely what we want to try to do is take the upper arm on the footman, we'll put that on the shoulder, and we'll take the lower arm on the footman, and we'll try putting that on, um, I guess, lower arm. Let's try low arm left. We'll see if that works. Um, and there again, like, I'm not perfectly certain that this will work, but I think it will do probably most of what we want. So now we've got our guy, and you can see he's holding his arm, and it's kind of like a footman. It's definitely not perfectly a footman, but it's in that direction. Uh, here it looks like he could use a tweak. So in attack, he's kind of got it held up a little bit, and maybe we want it to be out instead of up. Uh, staying ready. Let's see, spell just uses the old one, so he'll just move his arm back. That's probably fine. Uh, walk. He looks a bit more like a footman where he's got his hand up there. So he's definitely getting pretty close, I would say. Um, but... There are some interesting issues. I think most importantly, the attack animations don't look amazing. So for that, I think what we should be able to do, if we click this button in the new Matrix Eater, that goes to animation mode. So I think we should be able to just open the attack animation and see if we pull down in the nodes here, 
Uh, shoulder left should give us access to all of those. And I'm just thinking maybe what we can do is try to make these do less of what they're doing. Um, so one option in here is we can go and we can edit the keyframes directly. I'm starting to think maybe a better idea would be to just remove the animation. Let's try killing the animation. So you can actually do an import from nothing, basically, and cause that to uh, destroy the animation so that it will be gone. Because he's got these four components, right? Shoulder, upper arm, lower arm, hand. And we've reduced it to be like the footman of just shoulder, lower arm. So upper arm and hand, we want to make those not do anything. Right now they're still trying to be proud more, which we don't want. Uh, so we're going to go to import here. And like, let's just import from some Warcraft model, honestly, like something that doesn't do anything, like a doodad. Like the alter doodad, that looks good, right? If you import from that, you're going to have nodes that don't move. And you can just sort of bring in non-moving animation and say, okay, for attack one and attack two, anything I import this onto is just going to have its animation erased. Um, someday, my program's going to be better, and there's going to be a more logical way to do this. But for now, we're going to erase the upper arm left and hand left animations. Up arm left and hand left. You can just control click there and it'll hit both of them. That, that works in the publicly available matrix. It's not this test version. Uh, so let's do that. We're going to tell it to annihilate that animation in those attack animations. And now let's see how he looks in attack. Uh, also, I think maybe if I click this, we'll close that thing down there. Cool. So now he looks a lot more like you would want him to look because he looks a lot more like what the footman is doing. And he actually even moves his hand out like a footman to do the chop. So I would say we've gotten towards uh, where we want to get with this guy. And it seems to me that maybe it's time we should check in with the uh, requester, send this to Stefan.k, and see what he thinks of it, and if he's interested in making more stuff. Ah, but stand ready still has that same problem. So let's get ourselves that uh, altered doodad again. That's a good, that's a good doodad. The animation eraser, the alter dude. I, I need to, I need to make my program so it's not that way. All right. So my thought was just that uh, stand ready needs the same fix. Uh, we can get rid of that. We can do motion. I'm just gonna hit upper arm left and hand left, and nuke stand ready for those nodes. And this is toggled off right there. Oh. Well, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Looks like I must have uh, nuked not the right one. Hmm. I wonder what he's not doing that the other one is doing. Because attack looks really good. I mean, we just want stand ready to look like attack, right? Did I not click upper arm left and lower arm left? Wait, doodads, alter. Time scale into stand ready. Do any objects? We just want to nuke the animation in his left arm, upper arm, and hand. Did I nuke lower arm left? Maybe I nuked lower arm left. Okay, let's import the footman again here from our workspace footman. It's flipped footman. Uh, let's make sure we have that stand ready. Oh, the footman doesn't have a stand ready animation. Well, that's part of the problem. Alright. We're just gonna take the footman stand, pop that on stand ready. Uh, we'll get rid of these things here, get it down so we're just looking at arm one and arm two. We'll put arm one on shoulder left and arm two on the low arm left. Yeah, there we go. Now stand ready behaves like the attack animation. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And I think we've made some good progress towards what we want. Cool. Yeah, alright. So let's go ahead and uh, save this here. Uh, bandit boned shield arm animated. And try sending that back to uh, Stefan K, and hopefully he will like it.